Hi, welcome back to Nerds R Us, where anyone can be a kid. My name is Ike, and we're joined by our other host, Tyler. Hey, guys. And today we're going to be covering video games. Video games. Ike, you been playing video games long? A couple years. Not as much as I used to frequent them, but definitely for a hot minute. Yeah, what did you start out? What system did you start out on? Oh, shit. Was uh, it the N64 or was it the PlayStation 1? First system I ever played was uh, actually the Sega Genesis, and then I moved on to actually obtaining a Nintendo 64, and went from there. Went from there, N64, favorite game. Is it Super Smash Bros? Is it Pokemon Stadium? Oh, God. What are we dude. talking here? It would definitely have to be Super Smash Bros. Um, hey, nothing better. Chilling after school, you got all your bros, and kicking the fuck out of them with some Smash Bros. Your favorite character in Smash Bros.? Definitely like Kirby. Definitely Kirby, Kirby, dude. Kirby can eat my dick. I mean, <laughs> Kirby's the master of sucking. He can suck this dick. He was good at sucking. That's probably why I liked him so much as a kid. I mean, they got me that play. I mean, dude, they say you know you're gay, like, really early on. And I guess he just found out really early on. I don't know, dude. I always played Mario, but if as soon as I unlocked Luigi, I played Luigi instead. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I don't know why I played Luigi, because it's the same exact fucking character. But for some reason, I was like, that guy's tall and linky, and I'm tall and linky. That's my guy. <laughs> true story, true story. I mean, and then I also started off on, like, the Game Boy Advance playing some Pokemon, and the regular Game Boy playing some Pokemon, Fire, Red, Leaf, Green. Freaking it old school. God, I love... Dude, the portable portable gaming was, like... Dude, the when the Game Boy there. first came out, I remember going to freaking Kmart, when Kmart was still actually, like, a thing that wasn't just a flea market, and picking out a Game Boy Color, and... When they had the flip screen, it blew my mind. God, yeah. See, what what is it? What is it about those games that made it so good? Those old school games. Classic games. Um, it was just a simpler time. You know, it was a way to to kill time, having fun with your friends, and it it was just a good switch up. You know, whereas you know modern video games and stuff are a way to distract yourself from the world. It seems you know they aren't. They're so in depth and they distract you so much they take up so much of your time i feel like um it's impractical i feel like nowadays it's not even about playing the game it's about like getting the achievements and buying the dlc and stuff like that it's like the story's lacking like i can think of tons of games from the olden days even though we're only in like our 20s, you know, the 90s are like the olden days now that had great stories. Even Mario 64, where you had to go and you had to go through each painting. You had to collect the star in each painting and then build up all the stars to be able to fight Bowser. You had to put in some serious hours, but you lose that track of time. But I can't sit and play a whole Call of Duty online game at all without getting bored, let alone the story. Same thing with games like Destiny and stuff. I'm like, oh, it's a... It, feels like a Halo remake to me, and I feel like I've already played that. I mean, the Zelda story, I mean, well, all of them are still really good, but I still got a special place in my heart for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and... That fucking water level. <laughs> any, any fucking water level, dude. That's be real here, dude. Mario water level, freaking Donkey Kong water level, freaking any Pokemon water fucking Pokemon that you gotta battle. God yeah. forbid you don't, you have a fire type, you're fucked. That's I mean, always what I went with. Yeah, I always go with the fire, because I'm like, fire kicks ass, and then yeah. come across a fucking, a squirtle or like a magic carp and somehow get your ass kicked. <laughs> but I mean, alright, what's your favorite old school game story? That one that you played where you were like, this story is amazing. Favorite old school game And I'm game talking story. like PlayStation 2 and back. PlayStation 2 and back. Um, God. I would have to say probably Fable. Yeah, definitely Fable, actually. Um, the free roam capability and, you know, ability to develop your character for evil or good, your freedom of choices and stuff. The freedom of choices. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that game was kind of like the predecessor to, like, Skyrim and those type of games. I mean... That was the first kind of make our own choices, choose to be a bad guy, choose to be a good guy. I mean, you still had to, like, follow the story, but, I mean, it had a 
limited amount of free will in it. But yeah, no, I thought I had a really good story. Now Fable 2, on the other hand, is a piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Didn't All even the like Fables it. after suck. Didn't ass. really care about them. But yeah, I thought that had a really good story. You ever play, you ever play Shadow of Colossus? I did not, actually. You never play Shadow of Colossus? We're going to have to get together and play some Shadow of Colossus. But basically what it is, it's like it's a, it's a save the girl storyline, which I also hate, but I love at the same time. I mean, Zelda, Mario, I mean, there's a ton that I could, that somehow are evading me, but there's a ton like that. But Shadow of Colossus, you like have to go and kill all these giants and each one's different and you got to kill them in a different way and it's like a super original story and <laughs> you got a companion horse and everybody knows if you have a companion that's an animal dude that thing is in your heart forever <laughs> any shadow of colossus fans out there know that aggro will stay with you for the end of time <laughs> yeah i mean what is it what is it that makes those characters so great i don't know what maybe it's just because they don't say anything and so you're not like, fuck that guy. Like, it's just a horse. He's trying to help you save your girl, you know? It's like the same thing with any horse in any game or any dog in any game. Yeah, you build up your you build up your character and then you develop your, you know, your co-host or your companion <laughs> into a badass and you're like, anybody hits that shit, you're like, fuck you! <laughs> you destroy the fuck You up. immediately <laughs> kill him, dude. But then there's like other non-main characters that like are on your team and you hate them for some reason like Navi from Zelda I Fuck. mean dude if I wanted a helpful tent I wouldn't be playing the game I want to <laughs> figure it out myself it's like shut the fuck up or like every five fucking seconds <laughs> our terrible antagonist like Gary Oak from Pokemon smell you later I was oh. like dude where's the button to smash his face in can kick his Pokemon's ass and then kick his ass? Or is that not an option? I was always looking for that. Any option. old school gamers will know the fucking pain of playing Yoshi's Island and dealing with Baby Mario and every five seconds here, wah, wah. Anytime you lost Baby Mario off Yoshi's back, I don't know, but then you love Mario in the regular games. It's like just something about those, like something about when a side character tries to be really helpful really fucking annoying and I can't stand being in a game with them. I don't know. There's tons of useless characters like that, but then there's tons of great characters. I mean, I hate to go back to it again, but it's a staple of the game world. Mario's an amazing character. I mean, just a plumber, but I mean, he's also got all these badass suits he can wear that give him powers. He's trying to save the princess from Bowser. You know, it's super great. I mean, Zelda is a super great character. You know, granted, is only ever talking generally is yeah at least in the old games but i mean you know that was the only actually sound you heard come from him there's i mean what what do you think about characters you got any good characters i dude i fucking i i never really got into bioshock until we met walt and his obsession with big daddy kind of sparked that interest and uh so i started <laughs> i started playing that with hell was it my other friends anyways and uh yeah that was pretty that was pretty interesting how how big daddy would always just come up and fuck your shit <laughs> fuck your shit <laughs> not mean it uh, <laughs> yeah nothing nothing like a character coming in and immediately killing you to make you both appreciate and hate <laughs> them at the same exact time always helpful you know you're always looking for those helpful side companions and stuff and when you have the NPC have the most helpful side companion to uh, completely ass rape you out of nowhere. Um, but I also like like Kratos, dude. I loved Kratos. Kratos was a badass. Still is a badass, I should say. Um, and you got a wars coming out soon. Looks good. I want to play it, dude. Actually, yeah, I saw the I saw a preview of the playthrough, and it was it was pretty fucking sick. And now he has a new family, I guess. He's like a son. Yeah. yeah. So no, it looks pretty good. I mean, I haven't really looked into it a ton, but I'll play that shit. Yeah, I was about I'll to play say it for sure. About that life. Um, Ezio fighting the Pope was another one. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I love the Assassin's Creed games. Assassin's Creed's great. It's, I mean, not all of them are great. There were some out there. That's the problem with games where they come out with way too many sequels. It's like maybe two or three good ones, and then just a whole big old heaping pile of shit. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like technically, I feel like Assassin's Creed was kind of a knockoff of like Prince of Persia. It is a knock on the Prince of Persia. <laughs> it's super similar. But with the Prince of Persia, like, it didn't really... 
they, they started going somewhere and then it just like dropped and I, I really don't honestly know why or how but uh yeah, that was kind of disappointing. But, I mean, it brought, like, the idea of parkour to the forefront, which was really good. And True. now it's, like, a super popular genre and, like, a ton of games. Did you ever do any parkour? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I jumped over things thinking I was cool. But, no, not, I'm not a badass. I'm not... I wasn't a sad secret to anybody or... I wasn't fucking jumping from building to building trying to save the same at the time because I'm on athletic as fuck, but... <laughs> I remember doing that shit as a kid, like, doing all the parkour shit you could possibly imagine, just busting my ass, dude. Like, I got scoliosis from falling off rooftops and landing on my fucking head. Well, do you, do you take those oh, things from those games and you think they're real? I mean, I remember having the Pokeballs that when you threw and they popped up and the little figure, like, popped out. It never actually, like, opened up or popped out, but throwing it at your friends. Oh. God, that was good times. <laughs> yeah, dude. You throw the Pokeball, Pokemon stays in there. You're like, come on. And then you have to run over to pop it up and manually, and you're like, what's well, this? This is shitty, but still had it. Still owned them all. Still <laughs> have it. in the store. Mom, mom. With this Mewtwo in it. We need to get this right. <laughs> you get <Yeah>. dual discs. <laughs> okay, so what is it that you like about old games that you don't like about new games? Or what is it that new games are missing from old games? Um... God, there's a lot of there's a lot of tension for me with uh, first person shooters. I feel like those are kind of like they need to be done or they need to take a break. They've advanced to where it's like super realistic and stuff. And I used to love playing them with like my cousin and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it's not. Well, they have an advance. That's the thing. It's like they advance to a certain point, and then for like the last five years, they're like. Stack. What if we just keep making the same game and just put a different title on it? Yeah, that's pretty much what Oh, I it's the same that. level, but instead of Vietnam, you're in World War II? Yeah. Nothing's changed. Well, Dude. online play is the exact same. It's all the same. I mean, first-person shooters, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'll still play some Halo all day, and Halo was probably one of the games that really made me love gaming, playing that shit on the first Xbox. But it yeah. needs to... They either need to make it something new progress it make it better or they need to stop making first person shooters yeah um another thing was like the whole chosen one uh theme that you know that can either really freaking old when they're just copycat and everything or be badass when they're doing an original idea and just i just feel like there's a lot of like remade shit out there anymore like everything's just kind of like a hack of something else and there's not a, I mean even with movies and shit there's just not a, new, a lot of new ideas floating around I guess and well, there's only so many stories I mean what are you going to do I mean you try, I get that you try to make them relatable but at the same time like there's got to be some other ways to relate them and whatnot you know um, it's things that I did like God of War yet again the whole story of vengeance I mean that's something that's personally definitely relatable every once in a while you're just like Man, I should I kill that guy I, yeah. I get back at that bastard <laughs> okay so I mean what is it what is it that you like about new games oh <sighs> I mean I would say I like because just like when we talk about anime they're able now to do things story wise they weren't able to do they're able to be more edgy your family can die and it can happen right in front of you. It's not just a thing where you come home and then your Screen your blast. village is on fire because every villain uses fire for some reason in your village. You know, it's like your family dies and, and Fallout, the most recent one, you watch your family die or you watch your husband die and then your kid gets taken or your wife if you choose to be a male character. I mean, you can see that you're able to present more violence and I mean, obviously, there are things like graphics have clearly gotten better and not Tomb Raider's tits aren't pointy as balls anymore. That's super neat because everybody appreciates boobs. Everybody appreciates that. <laughs> every, I'm sure every woman was like, there's no way I can stand up to this pointy boob body image they're trying to force on me. Dude, I remember thinking Tomb Raider was so hot back in the day. My favorite thing was when Tomb Raider got brought to the screen with Angelina Jolie. That was super neat. I was like, yes, this is so perfect. <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question. So, 
obviously they're still making games like Zelda and they're still making Mario's and all that jazz. If you could take one game that from back in the day and have them make a newer version of it or a sequel of it, a game that hasn't had a sequel in a while, what would game would you want them to make a sequel of or what would you want to see a new one of? New version of it. Either a new version, like a remake or like a remaster or even just a sequel of that particular game. I mean, you could definitely you know, throw in some old school Sega and you know redo Sonic. They're still redoing Sonic and they all fucking suck. I know, that's what I mean, like redo it in a not shit manner. Um, Is that even I mean, possible? I don't think it's possible. Well, I mean, you do got all those sweet knuckle memes out there. I mean, do you know the way? Are you going to show them the way, Ike? <laughs> Is that what you're going to do? You're going to show them the way? Exactly, exactly. Shit. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, the Mario's have still been pretty good. Even I played Mario Odyssey, and it's really good. Yeah, I thought it was great. Actually, I I've, I've had a great time playing it. I'm trying to think of some games. I mean, I'd love to see a new Pokemon Stadium. That'd be fucking cool. Yeah, that would I'd be like good. to play that. I'd like to see like a non-mobile game Pokemon, like like a Pokemon on the PlayStation Four. Yeah, because then you can make it a lot more. Well, I mean, platformy. I mean, you could have a lot more realistic graphics and stuff where you're actually walking through stuff. Make it like a first-person shooter to where, you know, it's first-person visuals, but at the same time, you know, you're running across shit in the grass and you can... Catch you know, Pokemon and stuff. I mean, that'd be cool. That would be If they did a dope. remake of Fire Red, I'd, I'd probably quit my job and just sit at home and play that. Dude, make it virtual reality. Yeah, about that yeah. shit that'd be dope as hell I'm oh, sure shit, I'm sure it? it's already in the works as soon as they're done working on all the virtual reality porn we can expect to see <laughs> fire red come into the big screen <laughs> no shit honestly though if I was if I was to remake a game um I want I want like OG Fable back man like like yes Skyrim is dope but it I, it just didn't hook me like Fable dude did you like Fable dude yeah like the I don't even know what it was about Fable that drew me in so hardcore, but yeah, that was just, like, that'd be a sweet throwback for me, personally. That'd be a sweet throwback for you? I'd like to see a good, a good Odd World remake, or, like, a good uh, Toe Jam and Earl remake, or Earthworm Jim. Oh my god, Earthworm Jim. If they made, like, a really good Earthworm Jim, I'd be so excited about that. Frick. Those Those shitty games. That nobody remembers, or only people who have played and remember. But I mean, they're the the clearly non Mario games. <laughs> That's Rampage. what I'd like to see. <laughs> I'd like to see something like that. New Age Rampage. I'd also There's probably something out there like that. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, dude. If they remade Rampage, that would kill. I'm curious, would kill, especially with them coming out with the movie soon, and oh, yeah, all that jazz like that. with the Rock, dude. If they remade some type of Rampage game. Even if they just, like, remastered the original, it would be a smash hit immediately. Kill it, man. <laughs> At least for, like, old-ass people like us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much. Now we're at the point in our show where we do our weekly head-to-head. -head. We're going to be bringing two characters to a fight. We're going to talk about if those characters fought to the death, who would win. Who would be victorious? I could you bring it to the table. I'm gonna throw down some old school and go with Kirby. Throw down some Kirby. What powers? What powers he got besides sucking this dick? <laughs> <laughs> so he does have the uh, the power or ability to uh, to steal, you know, your powers and abilities from whatever character you're gonna throw down. So I mean, the sucking does come in handy, even though it might cause a little. Uh, Mature ejaculation or whatever. <laughs> um, he's super strong, elastic. Um, he can change his body density. Um, always fun when you brick up in the middle of the air and just get some hurt on people's heads. Um, he can float. Always spam the hell out of that. Man. Spam that shit some Super Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you thought I fell off the map? Just kidding. <laughs> never. I will never die. I will always come back. Um, and then the uh, the superstar assist. That was always a uh, you know superstar assist. Story. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna bring another classic character. Even though none of these characters ever fight each other, would be Sonic. Everybody knows Sonic. Gotta go fast. Awesome. Everybody knows Sonic. Everybody knows he's got the super speed. 
He's got a certain amount of super strength simply from being so fast. He can go supersonic by taking all the Chaos Emeralds, I believe seven to be exact, it might be nine, which makes seven. him go essentially Super Saiyan Sonic. He's 100% invincible and he can fly, <laughs> goes 100% gold, so obviously his value goes up. He is now Super Sonic. So look, dude, here's the thing. Kirby can suck, but can he suck fast enough to catch Sonic? I don't think he's going to be able to catch him. Well, I mean, like I said, he's elastic, so only so much damage you can per put on. It's like it's like Majin Buu, you know what I'm saying? So Super Saiyan versus Majin Buu. <laughs> so let's throw let's throw back to some DBZ if we're going super. Um, yeah, I feel like he would definitely have a chance to, you know, elastic the fuck out of his uh, body. Hey, when those punches start bouncing around and come up behind him like a friggin' boss. Here's the thing, though. Kirby can, yeah, he can suck up powers. He can't use the Chaos Emeralds. And you can only go and become Super Sonic from using the Chaos Emeralds. And he can fly. Kirby can float, but he can't fly. His, his flying is very limited. So if he just flew Kirby into space, dude, chucked him out of space, and game right there. True. I mean, you could definitely freak some... Man, I never really thought about that shit. Um... I mean, let's say, let's say he was able to steal his powers. Now, when Kirby steals, like, um, like uh, Donkey Kong's powers, he can smash. When he steals yeah, uh, Fox's powers, he can use the gun and stuff. So, I mean, I feel like even though the Chaos Emeralds give him the power, I feel like he could steal the Supersonic. Probably just be Super Saiyan Kirby. Yeah, but he's limited, <laughs> got limited time though. True. On, his, on his stealing the powers. They only last for so long. True. And so, I mean, all Sonic would have to do is avoid him for a good 5, 10, sec 5, 10, 15 seconds before that power runs out, dude. And if he's thrown into space, he's not he's not sucking anything up except for a lack of oxygen, so... <laughs> Wait, no. Kirby is from space, though, right? I think I mean, he's from, like, a different planet. But I don't think... I think he star. needs, like, oxygen. Yeah. I'll let him fucking die then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then I guess that pretty much decides it. <laughs> Freeze his little bitch ass, throw him into a sun or something. Yeah, you, exactly. can, melt. you can melt rubber, so. <laughs> Problem solved. All right, there it is. The winner of today's matchup is Sonic. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. And if you like what you hear, feel free to check us out on YouTube at NRDS or US or Nerds or S. Check out our website at NerdsRS.com. You can also check us out on iTunes, same name. Also, we're going to be on Spotify soon. Keep an ear out. And anywhere else you can think of, check out your Google Music, I can... Instagram, Got Facebook, Instagram up. Twitter, you on that tweet life. <laughs> Anything else? And in the meantime, have a great week. Stay nerdy, stay beautiful, and we'll talk to you later.